Cutting real-world carbon emissions is crucial in preserving our financial and our physical futures. So how will Fidelity International reach net zero? Step one, set targets. Halve the carbon footprint of our investment portfolio by 2030 and reach net zero by 2050. Secondly, reach net zero on our own operational carbon emissions by 2030 as well. We have to do what we ask others to do. The second step, work out a plan for how we're going to achieve these targets and do this in partnership with our clients, with our peers and with the industry. Fidelity's net zero plan comprises two strands, investment and engagement. For investment, we will integrate climate factors into our investment process using our proprietary climate rating. Our climate rating is a score that we will give companies to assess how closely they're achieving their net zero goals. We will use it alongside our core sustainability rating to identify companies that are achieving net zero and climate solutions that enable net zero, but also to identify issuers that are not doing enough to tackle climate change. So here, engagement can make a real difference. We will engage with companies in three ways. Firstly, through our stewardship and our voting processes to achieve minimum climate standards. Secondly, through our team of analysts who meet companies regularly to discuss their sustainability and their decarbonization objectives. And thirdly, in collaboration with other investors through platforms such as Climate Action 100 Plus. We will now directly target heavy emitters with no transition plans, engaging intensively with them to meet our minimum climate standards. If they do not meet those standards within a predetermined period, we will be forced to divest from them and they will be ineligible for investment until they change. The first industry we'll be tackling is thermal coal. Thermal coal accounts for 40% of all energy related emissions. We'll be starting with miners first and then moving on to power producers and utilities. We will be giving them some time to achieve their goals, but we are aiming to achieve full phase out of thermal coal from our portfolios by 2030 within the OECD and 2040 globally. We don't have much time left and the next decade is going to be crucial. Fidelity can't solve climate change by ourselves, but we do commit to using whatever means we have, working in partnership with our clients, with companies and with governments to get to the net zero future we need.